Recording a song. There are four basic ways to record a song on the PA3XLE. Backing sequence, sometimes called quick record. Step backing sequence. Traditional 16 track MIDI recording and MP3 audio recording. With the backing sequence method, it's not necessary to record each track separately as you do with traditional sequencing. Any style can be used, and as you play, each of the accompaniment tracks is recorded on a separate sequencer track. For example, the bass on track 9, the drums on track 10, the guitar on track 12, etc. Make sure you're in style play mode. I'm going to use a style from the contemporary category, page 2, Swing Hip Hop. Go to Sequencer Mode and press the Record button near the lower left of the screen. Select Backing Sequence Quick Record and touch OK. Let's choose Variation 1 and use Intro 3 to start the song off. Set the resolution to eighth notes. This will correct the input of your chords, style elements, etc., not the music, to the nearest eighth note. This isn't necessary, but can help to make the chord changes and style element selections be more in time with the song. Pressing the Style Start Stop button will simultaneously start the style and start the sequencer recording after a one measure pre-count. Trigger the initial chord first. Now we're ready. Press Start. Play a few chords, select a different variation, ending 3. Press stop on the song player. It will automatically bring the song back to measure 1. Press play. All the tracks of the style have been recorded following your chords, variations, endings, etc. This is already impressive. The song you just created would have taken hours and hours to make with a traditional sequencer. But imagine you made a mistake or changed your mind about the chord progression or what variation should have been used. With a traditional sequencer, you have to edit every single track, even if you simply wanted a D minor instead of an F major chord. This leads us to another way to record on the LE, step backing sequence. With step backing sequence, you can enter in step by step what the chord progression is, what variation you want to have on what measure, etc. This allows you to record songs that may be more difficult than you have the time or patience for. It's also perfect for musicians who don't play a lot of keyboards, like guitarists, singers, etc. But the other advantage of step backing sequence is being able to go into a song you created with backing sequence and make changes quickly and easily. For example, let's say you want to change a chord in the song and also change the variation or fill. Press record, choose step backing sequence, and touch OK. You can step through the events by measure, by eighth note, or by each event. You can change a chord to something else by selecting the chord here and playing the new chord on the keyboard. Or use the screen to change it. Let's move ahead and make some more changes. Touch Done, and then Yes. Now press play to hear the changes. Now let's add a track using the traditional sequencer method. Press the record button and choose multi-track sequencer. The track select button is used to switch between tracks 1 through 8 and 9 through 16. Tracks 9 through 16 will have the recorded style track data. Display tracks 1 through 8. Anything played on the keyboard tracks will have been recorded on tracks 1, 2, 3, and 4, depending on whether you used upper 1, upper 2, etc.
Track 7 will be empty, so touch here to select to record on Track 7. Touch the sound bank icon of Track 7 and select the sound you want. Then exit. Let's set the resolution to high so the timing won't be corrected. Once you press play, there will be a one measure pre-count, then it will start recording. Press the record button to exit recording and press play. When the LE is turned off, the song you just created will be erased. If you leave from sequencer mode to another mode, for example style play, the song will be erased as well, but a warning does appear telling you this will delete the song. Touch No to cancel, and let's save the song to the USB flash drive. Open the Page menu, and select Save Song. The USB is probably still the selected device, so just touch Save. Touch the T, and name your song. and touch OK to confirm the text, then OK, then Yes to save it. Your song has been saved as a standard MIDI file that can be played in song play mode or loaded into other sequencers. Go to style play mode. We've saved the song, so touch Yes in reply to the prompt. It's also possible to record your performance as an MP3. It will record any audio created by the LE. Anything you play on the keyboard, the style, the standard MIDI file, even the microphone input, harmonies, and effects. Select any style you wish. I'm going to use this style from the World category, 4-4 Flamenco. While holding down Shift, press Record. You can choose the audio quality here. The higher the quality, the larger the MP3 file will be. Here you can choose where the file will be temporarily stored until you decide where you want to save it. Leave it on disk. When you're ready, touch record. Touch Stop on the display. You can touch T to name the MP3. For now, leave it as it is. Touch Browse and select the USB drive. Touch OK and then touch Save. The MP3 you created can be played in song play mode or by any MP3 player. The PA3X LE is an incredible tool to create your own music. The styles inspire you, and then you have several ways to capture your inspiration. Yeah.